New tonight at 6, he was the local hero who tried to stop a couple armed with guns inside a Walmart. That couple had just executed two Metro officers eating lunch and appeared to be looking for more victims when Joseph Wilcox intervened. In tonight's exclusive story, News 3 Sandra Gonzalez speaks with Wilcox's mother, who is still grieving almost a year later. No one would ever know him, but I have him, and I don't have him anymore. It's been almost a year since Deborah Wilcox lost her son. She says she has a hard time moving forward. A memorial of stuffed animals and a banner remain untouched. 31-year-old Joseph Wilcox was shot and killed June 8th inside the Walmart at Nellis and Stewart. Shell shock, punched in the gut. What do I do? I don't know. I don't, how do you describe losing a son? I don't know. Joseph was returning a computer modem at Walmart that Sunday morning. He had a conceal and carry permit and his gun with him that day. The day Jared and Amanda Miller went on a killing spree. First at CeCe's Pizza, where officers Igor Soldo and Ellen Beck were gunned down. And then Jared Miller started shooting inside the nearby Walmart. Joseph was going to stop Jared Miller, but didn't realize he moved past Jared's wife, Amanda, who shot him. His mother is still devastated and found it extremely difficult to tell her mother. My mom took my hand like this. So why did they take my Joseph? He didn't hurt anybody. Why did they take him? Two weeks later, her mother died. These losses have taken an incredible emotional toll on Deborah. She treasures the many mementos people have made in honor of her son. And she says Joseph brought up the possibility of the shooting spree before. You can't let someone get away with this. They have no right to walk in and start killing people just because they felt like killing someone. As the Wilcox family copes with their great loss, Deborah wants everyone to always remember Joseph. Just be grateful for what he did because that's all I can do now. Sandra Gonzalez, News 3. Two weeks from now, we'll mark one year since that killing spree. Joseph Wilcox will be honored and remembered along with officers Igor Soldo and Alan Beck.